Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we've got a really cool drone to show you. I think because this one comes with so much stuff, we're just gonna fly this first and at the end of the video, we'll show you everything that comes in the box. So, this is called the Challenger drone. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it while it's in the air and we'll get in more details in the, we'll call the unboxing portion near the end of the video. Mixing it up a little bit because this one comes with so much stuff, I didn't want to take up a lot of your time uh, if it doesn't fly well. <laughs> so uh, let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. All right, we should be filming. Uh, right now, the action cam is emitting a Wi-Fi signal and we connected Abby's app to it and it's a pretty good signal. It's not bad, but we're really close. So let's just fly it and see if I can go 50 feet out or so and see what happens to the signal. Uh, so let's take off. Start stop motors, everything's labeled, I love it. And I'm pushing up for the throttle. And let's just climb a little above the tree line so it's easy for you guys to see. And I am not touching any controls except just pushing forward a hair because of a slight breeze. So, it's flying really well. I'm, I'm okay with that. You'll notice that my little prop motor shaft things, I don't know what you want to call it, motor pod, and the landing gear is probably in the shot. I know that because the Wi-Fi signal on Abby's phone is working. And it's still usable at this distance. It's a usable Wi-Fi signal, so that's great. Uh, but we want to fly out a little farther and see how, how far we can go without losing that very weak Wi-Fi signal on, on that little action cam. So I'm, I'm happy with how this flies so far. It's uh, very easy to fly and it's a huge drone. Even at that distance, which I would say is about 50 feet or more, um, it's still working. That Wi-Fi signal is still working. I don't know why that's so good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Well, when you said it probably doesn't work very well like the GoPros, note that that was a GoPro 3. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. So, yeah. I have a GoPro 4 myself, but I've never bothered to connect it to like the app or anything. Yeah. But our GoPro 3 was pretty terrible back in the day, and this was 2013? 2012, 2013, back yeah. when we first started our channel. So. so that's full forward in this lowest rate, and that's good for a camera drone. You know, you don't want it to go super fast. I like how it looks. The shape of the drone is great for orientation. I cannot complain about that. Although I can't see any lights on it or anything. And it's a pretty overcast day, so the lights are very dim on this. Uh, now, the one thing that I'm still curious about with this is how is it gonna look is there any is there going to be any difference between Abby turning on the Wi-Fi and pressing film like we're doing now or turning the Wi-Fi off and pressing the action button on the action cam you know filming directly to the card maybe it's saving directly to the card right now but as, as of this moment in time I don't know that I don't know so we're gonna probably land might as well just do it now okay and uh, oh. lost you. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna right. land. It's coming down nice and slow. I like the rates of this. It feels good for a beginner. And as I get lower, it's slowing down. I'm pushing full down right there. It's slowed itself down. It's the barometer on board of this is really good. I think you'll be impressed. I cool. didn't expect that at all. All right guys, here's your audio test. So just in case you're wanting to vlog with this or something, we turned the Wi-Fi off and now we are filming or recording directly to the card on the camera. I'm a good dancer. Good dancer, yeah, okay. So now that we're doing that, let's, uh, you know, we're flying forward a lot, so I'm gonna pitch the camera up a hair. Okay, I realize now there's a little more drone in the shot. We're flying forward, so, so if we were hovering, you'd look at the sky, but since we're going forward, we're gonna be looking hopefully more level. So let's fly again. And a nice little motor stop start button here. And uh, let's take off. Okay, so with us flying forward, hopefully you guys have a slightly better looking shot, even though there's more drone in the shot. So we're not doing any type of range testing with this, I, I guarantee it would just, uh, 
<laughs> in in poorly if we push this to its limit but because it's so big I feel like I want to fly this farther away but we don't do that here on our channel because you always need to maintain line of sight and safety over whatever you're flying so that's pretty fast in mode one but this has other modes so let's back it up and test a higher rate so let's go speed is labeled on our transmitter we're just gonna hit speed two beeps for higher rate Let's see how much faster it is. So we have a lot more pitch. So much so much so that the altitude hold on its own can't keep up with that. See, we're getting close to the ground. I actually have to give it throttle up if I want to uh, maintain my altitude. So keep that in mind. If you do it over a long flight line like this, look at that. See, we're losing altitude. That's just pushing forward. And then when I let off of pitch forward, it goes back up to where I started. So it does a good job at it, but it can't maintain it while flying forward. So let's go to the highest right now. Three beeps. And we are a crazy drone in three beeps. It does not like that at all. Too much pitch forward and we lost our altitude really quickly on this. When I started to yaw with it, like a cyclone, watch this. So that's altitude hold right there. I want a cyclone and pitch. It loses the altitude and then it's like, okay, I really don't know what to do. It struggles to get that back in the air. So mode three on this or rate three, the highest rate is kind of nasty on this quad. So let's go back to rate one. Now it says it can do flips. So let's see if we can pull one off. Sometimes these don't do it when you have the cameras. Well, this one shouldn't know that there's a camera on there because uh, it's not plugged into anything. It's just physically mounted on. So I don't believe this can do flips because I'm pressing and then pushing. I'm also holding and choosing. So I don't think this can actually do flips even though it's labeled. Now we'll have a headless mode, an emergency stop button. So let's just try that emergency stop really close to the ground and see what happens when we push it. So we're really close to the ground and we're going to hit emergency stop on those motors and it just stops. That's good. That's a good safety feature to have. It's labeled. My turn? Yeah. And now, now that I've tested, you know, most of the features here, hey, you can try it if you want. I hate headlights. I do too. It doesn't really... I'm not doing it. That's okay. Okay. Abby's at the controls now. See what you got. What do you think about the altitude hold initially? That was interesting. Hold on. Maybe I'm, okay, that's forward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little confused there. Um, it's all right. Yeah, all right. I like it best in mode one. But you know, we're not dealing with any wind here at all. Like one, two mile an hour breezes at times. So, I don't know how well it would do in the wind in that first mode. Probably not great. It's a shame that it doesn't work better in the rate two and rate three. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, when you get quads this size, they're not really for, for agility. Hey, look, it's open. We've never seen this garage open. Oh no, I'm losing oh, man. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. This is a first in history. Her right there, that's what she's talking about. The garage is open. And she's probably not filming it too great because the camera's pitched up some, so. Maybe. Anyways, sorry, yeah. distracted. No, Never I seen them that. have that I saw open. That earlier. It's a nice day. They're probably just getting some. Man, is it. Okay, I think the battery is. Could on. be, could be. Okay. And it's done. Okay, fair oh, enough. Man. Look at the landing, though. Help it out down there. Uh, not bad. Hold down on the throttle. I am holding down. Do I have to stop the motors or will it? No, stop if you itself? just hold down, it'll stop. Not too bad on the flight. Okay, that was a great flight. I'm pretty happy with the performance of this. Pleasantly surprised because I wasn't expecting much good from this. But it was okay. Uh, let's take a quick look at everything that comes in the box and then we'll wrap this up at the end of that. Now they have different versions of this. We picked up the one with an action cam on the bottom that does emit its own Wi-Fi signal that you can connect to so that you can get an FPV shot. But if it's anything like a GoPro, which is a very expensive camera, 
the range on those is only like 50 feet or something. So you're only gonna use that to line the shot up, not to fly any type of distance. So the one that we have was about 99 bucks. I wanna show you everything that comes in the box because there's actually more than usual drones come with. So let's take a look. Now here's the box and it all looks fine and dandy, but I do have a couple small complaints about the way it was you know, presented. I don't generally like these foam boxes. It had a plastic lid and now everything is just kind of a mess. So I brought this out to show you guys, but ultimately we'll get rid of this box. And so for me, that means transportation of this drone is kind of at an all time low. It's like if we had a score system, it would get a zero for sure, because uh, you'd have to take all the props off the landing gear, the camera, the rubber grommets, everything. And then it would be a major pain to get it back in here. So I think that does mean something in today's drone world. People like to have easily portable drones. Now, this is an altitude hold, non-GPS drone with brushed motors, so that's why you're getting it for that $100 price point. But the transmitter's nice because it's labeled and everything looks and feels fine. The gimbals and the joysticks feel great. It doesn't feel too cheap or anything, so for a toy grade drone, I cannot complain. Now, here's the thing that most of you are gonna love about this that never happens in the drone world. The DJI is even rarely doing this unless you buy the fly more package but i guess you can say for a hundred bucks this being a fly more package isn't too shabby because it comes with three batteries i love that this is awesome we charged all three of them up at the same time they are two cell 7.4 volt believe it or not 2000 milliamp hobby grade batteries i like that a lot that is a huge selling point of this and on top of that it came with a charger that i've never seen before Nice US plug, plugs into the balance port. Normally we see this, and you plug your battery directly in here and it charges one battery at a time. But they've gone the extra leg and included this little split that allows you to charge all three together. How safe is that? I think it's just fine, but I do believe it will slow down the charging process. So what we did was put these in a LiPo bag and let them go overnight in an ammo can. So be safe when you're charging these. This is just a little bit different. So we wanted to be a little extra safe, but I love that you charge them all at once and now you got three batteries ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to go buying more batteries. It also comes with this charger, which charges your action cam. The action cam was included. It does also include a micro SD card and it's a backlit screen on that GoPro style action cam with once it's mounted, four rubber grommets to help dampen vibrations. I think that's awesome. I think that they did a great job by including all that for that price. I don't really know how they do it. It also came with an extra battery for the action cam. So that's awesome. We didn't charge that though. The instructions, they didn't bother to do a great job of presenting them to us. And honestly, other than this part of the instructions, which is the labels, you really wouldn't need anything, but they labeled everything. So. The instructions we'll hold on to for a little while, but I don't think we're really gonna need them. And it does come with a phone mount for your transmitter, but we're not gonna use it because the Wi-Fi range on this is gonna be so limited. We're just gonna set it up with the app, uh, but then probably not use it for Wi-Fi FPV flying. We're just gonna line of sight fly with this. The action cam that's included here is is actually a standalone action cam. No, it didn't come with a waterproof case or anything, but you can use this like any other action cam you've ever seen on our channel. It has time-lapse modes. I think you can do some rough slow motion. So, you know, you can pop this off and do some vlogging with it or something. And then we have four spare props, an extra rubber grommet melt, and uh, I will say that mounting the props on here was a little annoying. It's one of those side screw jobs. You have to take this little chrome piece off and then push your prop on and get that screw installed. It was a little annoying, uh, but once it's installed, as long as you leave these props on, you should be good to go. We have some extra hardware in here. We have a USB. It's a micro SD card to USB, so you can get this stuff on your computer if you don't have a, a micro SD card slot. And uh, then you have spare chrome pods, extra screws, screwdrivers, 
it came, this was funny, uh, the extra batteries were put together like this and then they were wrapped in, in uh, let's see, they were wrapped in this foil. It looked, it looked uh, fishy. fishy. <laughs> and then it was wrapped in this. And you can imagine a little brick uh, wrapped in foil like that looked a little funny. So we opened it and realized it was batteries, but I've never seen batteries shipped to us in foil. That was really weird. Uh, so that's worth noting. And then we have prop guards in here, but we're not gonna bother installing those. Uh, if you're newer though, we recommend it. Now overall, I'm really happy with how this flew. Uh, there's no GPS, it's brushed motors, it's big and kind of clunky, but it flew really well. I think Abby and I both enjoyed flying it. One thing that I was gonna say, but you know, the battery died on me, <laughs> was that when you think about it, this comes with an action camera. Usually that type of action camera costs about $40. Then it comes... I've seen it for about 20 Okay, I know. So, okay, let's say 30 Because that one was an exception. Yeah, you're right. And then it has three batteries. So what do you think that is? Like $15 battery? Mm, $10, $10 battery. Yeah. So there's $30. Yeah. Then you got the drone. Mm -hmm. I'd say... And I mean... Easily a $40 drone. Maybe $50. I think it's well worth the money when you think about it. But yeah, I really don't know how it, they did all that. I don't know either. But when it comes, and, and you know, it has the splitter so you can charge three batteries at once. Yeah. So when you think about all the stuff it comes with, it's almost worth it just because of the flight times you're going to be able to achieve. But when it comes to performance, I mean, it wasn't like overly impressive. Right. Yeah. Mode two and mode three it lost its altitude and mm -hmm. couldn't quite keep up. It's definitely a calm day mode one flyer. And definitely I think a beginner can handle that too. Yeah, good beginner drone as long as you're flying in no winds on your first few flights especially. Uh, now don't get us wrong guys, we know that this is not a DJI Mavic or anything like that. And you know we like those things. But we try to look at these for what they are. There are a lot of people that want to enjoy the hobby but do not want to spend a thousand dollars. A hundred dollars is a decent price point and to be very honest this is not the worst thing we've ever flown. It's a pretty solid drone. So if you're interested in it we'll have it linked in the description box below. It did have a few downfalls which we talked about but overall I think that you'll have a pleasant experience with this and who in the world can complain about three batteries coming with your drone. Before we go, I just wanted to mention that we are hosting our own RC event called RCS Fest 2018. This will be held at a full scale airport. You're welcome to fly your race drones, your GPS drones, your electric gas or glow airplanes. If you've never flown anything before and you're not even interested in flying, bring your ground vehicles. We'd love to see them and drive them with you and just hang out and have a great time. We'd love to see you at RCS Fest. 2018. We'll have more information on that linked in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!